Dog ship. Because dog ship is the future of luxurious doggy cruise travel. Now, when did you write that advert, Dave? This morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was obviously uh, based on the, the news story, which is topical today, about the pet well, airways. Well, no, you were there first. Well, no, this is true. Yeah. Now there is a pet airways, which is a news story going around this morning. And we're going to do it again at 9.30. There's more information about pet airline. Some say it's an airline for pets, and I say it's an airline for really rich, dumb, stupid people. So actually, Dog Ship was ahead of its time. It was. What in, why on earth would you ever need to book two tickets for your dog and cat to fly off to the Bahamas mm. for a week? It's, it's mm. beyond me. You know, but, what, do you stay at home while your pet goes on holiday? But this is it. Some people think of their cats and dogs as... Stupid rich people! ...as not being just pets, but friends of the family, Also, see. at the risk of making a general sweeping statement, mm. they are mental. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're fine. You covered yourself. Yeah, mm. but you can go take your dog to France now. You just get them chipped and they have passports and everything. Ridiculous. What a load of rubbish! Dog and chips. But if you go camping, you take your dog with you. We shouldn't be going camping in France in the first place. Mm. Get a hotel and go somewhere else. <laughs> My cousin, Katie, who lives in America. <laughs> just, have you got a cousin who yeah. lives in America? She's just should... about to have a baby as well. She's got a little dog and it flies all over the place with her. Can, really? you, find, can you find the clip of Johnny Briggs from the, the girl who's always talking about... My mum, <laughs> who's a nurse. nurse. <laughs> I always think that as well. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin, Katie, who, who lives, lives in, in America. America. <laughs> who's, who's about to have a baby. Right, what, now? Mm. Get some hot towels and some water. <laughs> Is it hot water and towels? I never know. I'd be useless. <laughs> hot towels and cold water. Yeah. Right, I haven't okay. been able to get in touch with her, so it may be now. She might be busy having a baby. The dog also goes to doggy day spa. Yeah, but she's now an American, which means she's bonkers. Yeah, officially mental. She and when we not. were in L.A. last year, they have uh, L.A. loves their uh, their kind of tarot dogs reading and, and psychics oh, yeah. and all that. They also like dogs with coats and jackets and booties. Mm. They also like psychics for dogs. I see your dog is uh, very stressed at the moment. Shut up! That's got to be the easiest job in the world, because how would the people who own the dog or cat know whether your psychic powers are doing any good to the dog mm. anyway? But they have a dog whisperer and everything now that, like, sorts out your behavioural problems. What a load of rubbish. Mm. An airline for, <laughs> for animals. It's going to be like Noah's Ark with wings. <laughs> <laughs> and what do they serve? You know? Do they serve, do they serve them, do they have, you know... Uh, chicken fish or salad, Mr. Pooch? Uh, chicken fish? <laughs> why, why do you sound like a parrot? I don't know. Yeah. I'm on an aeroplane. Is it not surreal enough? <laughs> I suppose so. You've got to really love your cat and dog, I think, haven't you, to, to do that. Do they have human, like, air crew? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, <laughs> no. stations going up and down the aisle. <laughs> well, what do you, mean? You, you say that. And, chicken you know, fish or salad? <laughs> but imagine... <laughs> Imagine if you were a stewardess or a steward or whatever on this pet airways thing. How yeah. would you? What do you serve the pets? Duty free, anyone? Boom <laughs> boom. Oh, welcome along. Uh, this is your captain, Rover, speaking. Uh, <laughs> Rover, over. Uh, estimated flying time today uh, in dog years is about two minutes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, stupid, stupid rich people with stupid, stupid pets. We yes. will hear from the man who runs the airline in the news. Do you, know what I like? Do you know what I like about this show is I don't have any pets. Hmm. I just don't. I'm not a big pet lover. Dave has no pets. Rachel has no pets. Dominic has no pets. Two goldfish, but I mean, you don't have That's to do anything fine. with that them. That doesn't count. Matt Fincham? Two cats. Yeah. My mum does. I rest my case. Yeah. And Carrie? Dog. There you go. People who own pets are different <laughs> to people who, who oh. don't own pets because and, I mean, I've, and they smell different. People who own cats smell of cats. And I've never understood this. You know when people have like a sick dog or a sick cat or something, and they take it to the vet, and yeah. vets' bills are expensive. You can spend four, or five hundred pounds on making them get better, Easily. when you could get a new one for less <laughs> than that. Dave, that's not the point. You're really, really heartless. You get pet insurance. But you can get a brand new copy for, like, 100 yeah, but quid. Yeah, you don't... You bond with it, Dave. You don't just replace it. Oh, that's my birthday. I'd like to go to San Antonio. Woof! <laughs> now, what happens, Dave, when Nicole, when she's about four or five, looks at you mm -hmm. with those big eyes of hers and says, Daddy, I'd like a puppy. And what, what, and you have to say, what, no, don't be ridiculous. Grow, not, grow up, get over it. It's not possible. Mm. My tortoise uh, would like to have a weekend away in Portugal. I might book the tortoise on 
Stupid idiot airways. Mm. It's going to torture you. <laughs> what? Uh. Okay. Time for the news. Yeah. My cat wants to go on holiday, Dave. Where can my cat go to? Your cat, of course, could go to Catalonia. That's right. Or my meow me. Or meow me. Mm. 935. <laughs> Dave, I have a pet giraffe. Can he travel on Animal Airways? Yes. He can go to NECA. <laughs> no, he won't. He can't. Because <laughs> right. he won't fit on the plane. Oh, right. Burke. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you like that? Neck- he kind of bends Necker. over, his ass sits in economy and his head's in first class. That's never going to work, is it? Digital FM. Online. This, this. is BBC Radio 1. Kids a long giraffe neck. lying there like mm. that. <laughs> I now do the impression of a giraffe on a plane. Be like Peter Crouch in an arse seat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Uh, let's get the news and sports. It's 9.36. The reclaimed young people are worst affected by the recession.